to Jennifer. I said, I'm sorry for making your day miserable. <laughs> well, that's why when she walked out, she's like, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> They're all stirred up now. So <laughs> all the yeah, we just made Jennifer's life miserable for today. <laughs> oh, not y'all, not on y'all. But they're primed, but, but they're primed. <laughs> Who's gaining and who's losing? I'm gaining. Yeah, he's gaining. Just people, though. Are you getting gained by road? Nope. Just people. No, the road, the road. Well, I guess the road deal was between Keith and, and Chad and Virgil. We, what, we, uh, the percentage went up. 7,000. 7, yeah, we went up 7,000. Where you're, you, you can just, you by, by the first year, you just call it 60. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and call the workshop to order uh, for the commissioner's store Wednesday, <clears throat> November 3rd, 2021, 11, 11 17. Uh, this workshop, the quorum is established, all members of the court here, uh, no public comments. Uh, this workshop for grant works project meeting for the ARP meeting uh, money. We received 10, 10 million nine hundred and ninety something. And so, uh, but Mr. Bass going to join us by Zoom at around 1130. He's in a meeting now. But I wanted to meet with you guys. We need to sit down as a commissioner's court and see what direction, and we'll talk to him when he comes in. What direction are we going to go? We It's time we got to figure out what you're going to spend your money on. Uh, and we'll talk to him. What is y'all's thought? We got to come to a consensus as a court. And we, and, we'll, and we won't be taking any action in this workshop, but we need to get some kind of direction as to where we're going. Is there anything you want to add to that, Miss Hill? Just where we're at, what are we doing? Uh, I know there's a lot of discussion about okay, are we going to have to make it mandated that everybody in mandatory vaccinations? I think that's been established. No, we're not going to have to do the mandatory. We can confirm that with him. He's when, gonna, I think he's going to speak. Okay, I think we can confirm that with, with him. Uh, We've got something from Allison and him also saying no, it doesn't apply. To it don't don't apply to this. So I think we're good there. But you know, there's been discussions. I know Sandy had sent a list down to Mr. Bass. Uh, 
of what all our discussion had been up to this. You know, there's been we've had several nonprofit organizations ask for money. The water departments have asked for money, but you heard him say in that meeting that if you give the money to the water departments and then it's not spent or it's don't get approved, that it's the county on the hook, not the water department, because the money went to the county. Uh, so I guess that's where, you know, they said broadband, it's listed. I think our discussion here has been, and she, uh, well, let me back up. Sandy and them have been working on the lost revenue formula. I think y'all says in on the meeting on that. That money can be spent for anything. I mean, for, is that correct? There's no. There's not as many not limitations. As many. Not as many. Yeah. And that's what I think we're going to have to visit with him this morning about because <coughs> when he began to talk to Mr. West and I about this new bill, the S3011, which I, I pulled the bill this morning for yeah. trying to read it pass it. I'm not so sure it's not replacing the revenue calculator <coughs> and just saying your loss is $10 million. Every county? Up well, to it's, 10 million. It's 10 million or 30% of your loss. The first, it's 10 million for every county, and then the counties that got larger, it's 30% of your loss. I mean, that, well, that throws a whole new, that, that just throws everything out. Because out there. If, you, if you read what NACO put out, it said, um, this, the bill will allow counties to allocate up to 10 million of recovery funds for government services and 10 million or 30% of the total allocation, which is higher for highway and transit projects and to address natural disasters. So, you know, it's going to, it could possibly put some of the money into growth. Yeah, and I think that's what, and, and that was my question to him the last time we had him on Zoom, is that's exactly what happened to us with the CARES money. This is what the money can be spent for right here. And then as you progress through the process, it changes. And I think we're seeing it change right now. I don't, I don't, and that's what we're going to have to clarify with him about the roads. Uh, the revenue calculator Calculate the nine hundred ninety one thousand dollars. Now he did. He did. We were going to have to go back. I've got to go back, and I had the debt service property tax coming in because I was taking my fingers straight from the uh, Petillo audit, and I emailed him and he said we need to pull those figures out. But there's not much, not many dollars involved in that, are there? Well, it's about a million every year, but it actually increases. When I took those dollars out, it put it to about a million three. That we have in the, yeah. In the lost. Yeah. In the lost rate. Yeah. yeah. And that can be spent for anything. Well, that's, well, yeah, that's what I thought, but there now are there's some, There are some guidelines, but not nearly as strict as what uh, the rest of it. Well, let me ask. I asked them, I said, in my mind, I thought we could try to check the county out of that fund and move it in the general fund. Yeah. Person. No. You so have to still budget that money through that ARP. <laughs> oh, good, good. Yeah. Yeah. You don't take it out. But no, it's possible different. for some of those roads? Yes. Yeah, I'm hoping. Yeah. About 11 million will make up the difference out of the general fund. They, <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, but yes, that money, my understanding, that money right there at 1.3 can be spent towards most things. Most things. Well, the mansion is road one up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what did you say? How much money? 1.3. Yeah. That's, that's where we're at right now. I'm not sure. <laughs> that's on the work. That's a, that loss calculation. But, but 1.3 of the minimum of 10. 1.3 is about, that's our loss revenue. 
But what'd you say a while ago? It's a, it's everybody's going to get 10,000. 10 million. I mean, 10 million. Well, that's no. Gonna no, not everybody's getting 10 million. But you, if you're uh, over 10, you can't, you just get to use 10, and then she's saying, and that's one thing we're going to have to get clarification okay. on from him. He has, can, if you if you get 10 million, can you use 10 million for anything? For anything? Or if you get more than 10 million, it says max 30%, the ones that's got 50, 50, 50 million. Or oh, 30%. It's 10 million or 30% of whatever yeah. So we have we'd have 30% of the of 75 pounds or 750 pounds. I would think, and then we yeah, have 10 million. We got 10 million, and I think the max would be. 30%, but I need clarification on that. But I don't think we have to say anything on the first 10 million. After what? I don't think it, I don't think the 30% applies to the first 10 million, does it? Oh, well. It's 10 million or 30% of your allotment, whichever is greater. Which is great. So yeah. we do 10 million. Yeah. That's right. our allotment. That's, that's, well, that's that's all in July. That's that's all July. July. Yeah. That, that, I mean, so we got to. And that's what makes this so difficult is we never know what rules we're playing by. Well, it depends on what we. Well, it depends on yeah, right? And, and yeah. so, so out of that ten million, it's it's it would be like the radio system if we did it. It would be included in that. We yeah. pay for it out of the ten million. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You pay for your radio system and then whatever left out of it. I think he's going to tell you. So, so that's why we, we, we've discussed radios. Radios is a deal when 911 hit, radio, the state of Texas come and said, you you are going to, and they told us, we just, I mean, over at JP, they said, you by a certain date, I forgot what date they give us, by a certain date, you're going to go to the P25s or whatever. They wanted everybody to communicate statewide. Well, then they started backing off of it. They <clears throat> back, you couldn't do it. I mean, it's so massive. Yeah, you don't have the money. money. You, can, you don't have the money. And so then they started backing off. And here we are, what, 20 years later? 20 years later, we're still not there. And But we're going to have to go there. I mean, it, it, at some point in time, Van Zandt County is going to have to go to a radio system that where they can communicate with Kaufman County, Smith County, Henderson County, uh, the surrounding counties. I don't understand, and, and, and I'm not law enforcement, why do we have to have law enforcement that's in Austin able to communicate with Van Zandt County by radio? I don't know. Maybe y'all can tell me. I don't know. Well, when's the frequent change that's coming in? Uh, that's the, the frequency radio change is going is mandated by the federal communication and it's how many more years has it got before it comes into effect Ted? i don't know the exact timeline it's been bumped back twice now but it's coming it's coming, it's coming. and so and we can build a system think, that don't talk to austin we don't have to go out there yeah it. and so my deal is if you're going to spend, if you've got this money and you spend it on your radio system or broadband or whatever, not broadband, but the radio system, that's money the taxpayers are going to have to spend at some point in time. Anyhow. So you have an opportunity to do it now with this money. How about, how about voting material, like new equipment for voting? I know that'd be a question for him. Question. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be a question for him. And, and voting, like voting machines? Yeah, because we've got one, you know, the big machine, the 600, it's a loaner right now. It's ours is down, and they're not sure if they can fix it. Well, in 2026, tell everything's going to have to change in now, the voting? We're, we're actually in compliance because the only thing that needs to change is because a lot of the new equipment that people have bought our papers. Right. We have papers, so we're we're okay with that. We're in compliance, and the new stuff that we're looking at, 
will also have the balance. The balance. I would yeah. always push, and I know Lamps Lens is big on that. Yeah. Always have some uh, uh, piper. If we're looking at if, if the future holds, you know, it depends. But um, we went over to Crawford County. I went and tested their machines, how they do it and everything. It's pretty much a ballot on demand. It's paper. It's, it's very good. It'll save us money ordering ballots, number one, because on demand, it prints them out for you. Same so, I think so. Yeah. 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 I would also like to spend money on our jail to update the jail, uh, to convert the uh, minimum security into a maximum and connect that together. That, that's important to me because we're, <laughs> we're growing and when you grow, you got more people that's going to be put in jail. I mean, that's just, that's it. Good. Good what? Okay, you bring him on in. <clears throat> well, the regular system me and the sheriff are working on is the standalone system that works for our county, and they'll be able to talk on in the counties around us. So they'll have communication where they're pretty much doing their job. Hello, everyone. William Bass here of Grant Works. Uh, Can you hear us, Mr. Bass? Yes, sir, loud and clear. Okay, good. Could, is there any way you can lower your screen down where we, we, we can see you from about your mouth up? Uh, <laughs> yeah, hold on a second. Our windows are getting all convoluted. There we go. There you go. There you go. There, there you go. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, we did call the meeting to order about 11.15. Okay. We've been, we've just been discussing. I think, I don't think we could move forward without you answering some questions for us. For sure. Uh, what, what, what thing we need clear, clarification on is the $10 million the or 30 percent whichever is greater are you familiar with that um, no if you could yeah give me a few more details on that uh, i'll top my head now it's the it was do what s3011 bill oh yeah the new bill the correct yeah yeah i was uh, funny i was just sending uh communications out um to all the communities that i'm uh oh Froze up. Don't make any faces. Project managing, and I was just about to say, so that that's definitely you know a game changer. Um, I know there was a question. I'm not sure if it was from you, Sarah, or another uh, county commissioner. You know, in regards to the CARES Act, you know, will the allowable uh, funding categories change? And you know, John Cornyn and, and uh, I forgot who else, who other, what <laughs> other individual introduces the bill, but. They this you know most likely will pass the house and and will allow for uh, you know broader use of uh, allowable projects. So um, yeah, this is definitely a game. For, uh, okay, it was it was me because we got into it and I, I referenced the CARES money as we started right. that. We started through it. It kept changing, and yeah. so when we met with you last time, I asked you, "Do you see this changing, or is this what we're looking at?" And you said, well, I, I, I can't answer that right now. Yeah. Uh, but this is exactly what we get into every time. Is yep. This is what you spend your money for. Mm -hmm. Well, for a month or so, and then it changes. And so <clears throat> I guess. Yeah. Oh, I'm just to, just if I could interject on that note, the in terms of what we can, what the allowable projects are, it will never become more restrictive. So it won't be like, oh, you can do roads, you know, now, and then six months from now, oh, you can't do roads anymore. So whatever projects, whatever criteria that we're working with at the moment will definitely hold through and that going forward, the only thing that will change is that it, it might become more expansive like the case with this SB3011. So 
the, there, we don't need to worry about if we start on something that's allowable okay. at one point in time, if it will be disallowed at a, at a future point in time, that will definitely not be the case. The only, it will only go the opposite direction. There will only be more, um, more opportunities and more freedom to, to pursue uh, different projects. There won't be more restrictions. Okay, so just let me just go ahead and ask you, can the money be spent on roads? That's the same look I give. I think, I think, that's, a, I think that's a no answer. <laughs> you froze. You froze up. I don't know if you hear. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm definitely getting up to speed on SB three zero one one. Um, in terms of what we can do with it, I think it's a, you know studying it and becoming an expert on it. Up, oh, I go there. I go again. Check check. Can we can hear, hear me. We can okay. Sorry. Me. I apologize. Yeah, there's like crazy rainstorm going on in my area. So my oh. is kind of being a little walkish. So yeah, I'm pretty sure we can do roads. Um, you know, it says that uh, in terms of the amount, let me get the specifics to you. I'm, you know, as with everyone, I'm just getting up to speed on SB 3011 um, in terms of um, what it allows for in, in terms of those new categories. So, um, you know, we're all scrambling to, 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 to get up to speed on it. So I'm pretty sure we can do roads now. We could do roads previously. Um, however, it was limited, the amount we could do on roads was limited to um, the calculation that um, we did. And I've gone over that with Sandy a little bit in terms of revenue loss. Um, but now there's kind of a, a I believe a, a granted revenue loss figure that's just for everyone gets to use this certain amount of money. So I'm pretty sure we can do roads. Um, let me, you know, yeah. get back to you all. Um, get back to you all in terms of the amount of money um, that can be spent on roads and any um, further stipulations. So let me take that down in my notes here. Okay. And let me ask you about uh, Vanzac County's in dire need of new voting equipment, uh, voting machines, uh, voting uh, election equipment. Would that be covered? New, sorry, I'm checking that. New voting machines and election equipment. I'll have to check on that. On that one, I have not seen um, anything in the interim final rule or SB three zero one one yet regarding that. Um, I know you know the spirit of this uh, ARP funding is to. Um, address you know the effects of the pandemic um, but i will definitely look into that and, and get back to you here soon regarding okay. that i would say off the top of my head no but that's not my final answer okay okay and i think we're uh jail expansion i, th I believe that would be covered would it not i believe it would uh, yeah so that that would definitely be capital infrastructure um that's a tentative yes on that one i'm going to give you going to come back to you with the final answer okay. on that and then a radio system uh, uh new p25 radio system for the county for first responders would that be covered yeah that's a t again a tentative yes i would say a tentative yes on that one yeah. because you know the ems is actively responding to the covid 19 health <laughs> crisis um, so, but, um, yeah, these answers I'm going to give you right now are, are for sure, um, tentative and I, I definitely want to, um, come back to you with, uh, research and, and, and quotes and sources essentially, um, for why this would be a yes or no. So these are my tentative answers at the moment. Okay. I have, I'm taking these down in my notes. So that I can, you know, okay. Does anyone have any questions? So what do we need, uh, <clears throat> What what do we need, uh, Mr. Bass? Do we need to narrow down what we want to spend the money on? I mean, it's it's hard to know what we want to spend the money on when we really don't know what's going to be allowed or not. Correct. Yeah. So you know we have those um, those allowable category. What's allowed so far um, that I presented to you, to you on my presentation, and you have in those powerpoints in terms of those categories. So that's a framework just to to think. A framework to think within, um, but also this SB three zero one one. I'm going to get up to speed on this um, as it is as it is for sure. Uh, breaking news 
um, and, and add that to um, the framework that I'm, I'm going to send that over to you guys because um, that's another framework. Um, so in terms of how we move forward with this project selection, you know, you, you all, Van Zant will have those two frameworks, what's in SB3011 and what was in originally in my, you know, presentation. And then you guys will um, come up with a, a tentative project list and then I will, I will, will, will narrow that down and I will give a, a sort of a green light um, and also quote, you know, the sources uh, in terms of these allowable projects um, that we will select and then we'll, we'll take them from there. So um, yeah, just kind of a, a joint process between you all um, coming up with a, a short list essentially of, of projects and then me um, kind of researching and, and finding the justifications and the sources um, in, with, from, in the information that I have from the government. And then, you know, we come back and then go green light essentially that the projects from said list. Does that make sense? It does. And you will yeah. give us green light on those projects. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, okay. the green light yeah, will involve me, um, uh, you know, again, going into the documentation that we I have from the Treasury Department and, and writing up the justifications <laughs> and the expenditure categories. And yeah, basically saying, basically, in writing and with sources yeah. saying these projects are allowable. This is why they are. Allowable. Okay. So. Okay. Are we looking at a time frame? Um, yeah, that's a good question. Um, it, it basically, as fast or as slow as, as you all um, want to move, um, like I mentioned, the project, this uh, ARP money still, as far as I know, still, you know, I, I'm not all up. I'm going to, again, study up on SB3011 uh, and if it changes the, the timeline. But at the moment, the timeline for obligating the funds is, December 31st, 2024, and the, the timeline for having it all spent is December 20, uh, 31st, 2026. So those are the high level timelines that we're working with. Um, so we can move as fast or as slowly <laughs> as we want to um, with those deadlines in mind. So um, again, you, you guys have that the, the presentation that I did um, a week and a half ago with you all in terms of yeah those guidelines for thinking about projects and then i'm going to get you all the information um as sb3011 is is finalized and comes through in, in terms of how that adds to and expands upon um what we can do because you know as you mentioned roads is, is definitely an infrastructure more broader infrastructure um is definitely in there it just the question is is how much money um can we spend of the money? Can we spend on that infrastructure? So, okay. And I know there's been discussion on uh, the mandated vaccinations. Yeah, correct. So I, I verified with uh, the ARP directors on my team. Um, so, and uh, Sandy referenced um, what was listed on NACO's website um, in regards to that particular executive order. And NACO's website says no. ARP recipients are not, you know, are not government contractors and are not subject to that particular executive order. So we can, that, that information on NACO's website and then in regards to the executive order that says no is correct. Okay, okay. Any questions? I do have a question. Okay, Chad, can you hear Chad? Yep, hey Chad. Hey, when we decide Hey, we'll go on project A and we tell you this is the direction we're going. How long will it be before we actually reach a point where we're awarding the contract to start work? Um, I would say probably a couple of weeks to a month. You know, we do need to go through the RFP process, or sorry, RFQ process and putting out the notice and, you know, soliciting for uh uh, request for qualifications and then going through a scoring process, you know, it, in terms of construction projects we're speaking of here. Um, and then, you know, we need to get the, go through the environmental um, review process um, here internally at GrantWorks in terms of, you know, having what, per, having researched, our team having researched what permits are needed so we can have that over to the engineer. So I would say on average, probably about a month um, between um, 
starting that RFQ process um, and then, you know, going through the scoring process of selecting an engineer. Now, if Project A requires construction or building, do we have to hire someone else to get all that done before we go for RFPs? Like engineers? Oh, could, could, could you repeat the question? I'm sorry. I said, if the if Project A requires construction building, do we have to hire some an architect or an engineer to design it out prior yeah. to going to RFPs? How exactly. Long does yeah. Process take to hire the engineer and get him on board and going. About about a couple about three weeks to a month, I would say. So we got a month to pick the person to design it, then we got a month to get it through the RFP process, and we still got to have a long it takes them to design it in the gap. So we're Correct. looking at probably three months if we decide a project before actually awarding the contract. Correct. Yes. Yeah, Sandy, do you have any questions? Michelle, anyone? Do we need to continue with that uh, revenue calculator or does that just need to stop? Yeah. yeah, is that a question from Sandy? Yes. Oh, hi, Sandy. Um, yes, yeah, let's, if you could um, finalize those numbers that we have in there, um, just so we have that in as a resource. Um, Okay. Again, I'm not sh exactly mm -hmm. sure at this very moment how the SB3011 changes that lost revenue. I'm pretty sure, again, this is not my final answer on this. I'm pretty sure it allots everyone a certain amount um, of lost revenue. Um, I think that's 10 million. Um, I think they just say everyone has a lost revenue of 10 million right now, so we can use that towards um, uh, infrastructure projects. But let me check on that. Um, Sandy, because um, yeah, that I think the SB three zero, yeah. Let's actually let's in re just to respond to your answer, Sandy. Let's pause on that um, and let me review the SB three zero one one because I think I think it establishes a ten million dollar minimum for everyone um, as lost revenue. So everyone has up to ten million dollars in lost revenue that they can use as um, towards uh, more broad infrastructure projects. Okay, because our our allotment was right at it was ten million something. Okay. It was right at eleven million. So okay. you're saying, if I understand you correctly, you're saying, okay, you've got ten million that you could spend for infrastructure. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm pretty sure that's the case. Again, I'm not you know fully up to speed on this bill yet, but as far as I've I've I understand so far, um, it 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 says everyone has. We don't need to do the revenue loss calculator. Or everyone has. 10 million that they can use towards uh, more broader infrastructure projects. Okay. But um, yeah, so that this, again, this information is, is, is developing and it, it's, it's breaking. Um, so I'm gonna be communicating um, to you all uh, at Van Zant as, as, it, as it develops and how, um, as it solidifies also, because it will definitely um, change the game in terms of how we can think about um, using these funds. Okay. One other question I had, sir, back to what I asked before. So as far as engineers and architects and services like that, that's paid for out of the grant as well? You're correct, yeah. The grant money goes towards that. Yeah, yeah. engineer, the hiring of the engineer, you know, the, the any environmental reviews that need to put, take place, all of this $10 million goes towards that. When we uh, present, the engineers' facts and specifications. So you you don't question those, do you? You just award the money on those specifications. Uh, yeah. So there's a there's a, a scoring process that you all at Van Zant will go through to determine the engineer that 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 you want to work with. Oh, okay. So I believe it would be beneficial for Van Zant County at this point to come up with a. Uh, Number one project, number two, number three, exactly. get, get a rating. Okay, <coughs> this is our number one, two, and three. I mean, I don't care if you go to five. Yeah. Top five projects. Yeah, top yeah. five projects with a kind of a ballpark estimate on those, you know, just so we can know, you know, we're not at seven projects and they're all two, two uh, you know, two million each and they're at 14 million, but we only have 10 million. So just kind of a rough. A rough estimate and then as we get in move into the projects you know the estimate will be more um 
solidified. So, so yeah, just just a, the, a short list with those, a short list of the projects and a kind of a description of the projects um, along with a, a rough estimate. Okay. And when we when we met with you the last time, you said you would like to have a meeting approximately every two weeks. Yeah, does that does that work for you all? Well, it, it does. It's just the scheduling of it is difficult. Okay. Okay. Uh, because right now we've got, I mean, we're we're in redistricting. We've been in okay. meeting since nine this morning. And uh we we've got a lot of stuff going right right now. Mm. Uh, and we've got there's a lot of meetings that we're trying to work it into, you know. Yeah, and how I and, understand, uh, sir. Yeah. We, our our HR, we just lost our HR director. So we're mm. gonna have to go into meetings with that. Uh this meeting, the redistricting meeting, and we're you still believe it's beneficial to meet about every two weeks? No, no, I mean I, I mean it sounds I don't want to take up too much of your time and I know everyone <laughs> everyone already has enough meetings on their plate. So you know we can do we can we can you know we there's plenty of other channels of communication that we have through through email um et cetera or just any phone calls you have my phone number so we can do every three weeks um if that works for you guys okay we'll do every okay. two three when just yeah kinda, okay any other questions do have any questions sandy so i guess what what the county needs to do is figure out what they want to spend the money on. Yeah, while you're, exactly. While you're yeah. researching it. Yeah, and then I'll 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 um I'll send you over the the kind of high level information um that we're communicating out to to our communities regarding SB three zero one one um and then as the when the bill passes and then there's further information distributed from the government that offers more details um we'll, I'll share that out with you also but. I think the information that we have right now um, regarding the bill um, definitely gives us a, a, a good broad frame of mind in terms of thinking about allowable projects. Um, and um, yeah, so I'll send okay, that so if we if we come up with a top three project and said, okay, this is what we this is what we're looking at, but we know it's not going to take all the money. But if there's extra money left over in there, then we could spend it on infrastructure like roads. Like let's say we want to go with the with the uh, the uh, uh, radio system, mm -hmm. new communication for for first responders. We want to go with that. Uh, we, we got the jail expansion and everything. <clears throat> Here's what we're looking at. But so let's move forward with that, and then after we get that come. I don't know at what point. I don't know if you'd wait till it got completed, or yeah, or some. yeah, either one, either one, either completed or that we have, you know, the exact the exact estimates in, you know, so that uh, we can, you know, know how much exact money we have left. So yeah, either one. Again, as long <clears throat> the timelines are are pretty flexible um, in terms of starting and beginning projects. Um, yeah, the only limitation that we're working with it is it has to be obligated by 2024 so 2024 2024 december 31st 2024 okay okay so either those either those uh, approaches will will work okay in terms okay. of you know are we going to begin say we have uh three projects that we just want to start with and then you know we're moving through those and then we have the um, the exact estimates of those so we can know we can take that out of our budget and how much we have left for remaining projects and then proceed from there or wait until those those uh, projects are completed either one okay y'all have any other questions y'all have anything no sir we were looking at on the project list we had there and the district clerk converting her files to any right yeah. That's something that we'll consider. Did she get money for grant money from that already? She's got a bunch of money in the yeah. budget to do that. That's not her, that's Susan. Yeah. Who? Is that all Susan? Yeah. Yeah. And he's going to that would be listed. That would be covered, yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's actually covered. Thank you. And what, and, that, and it's Sandy talking about our district clerk preserving the files. Uh, uh, Online, where they could, you know, 
uh, I guess what do you call it? I would say scanning or well, the, the yeah, scanning. 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 Yeah. scanning and indexing yeah. the files where the mm -hmm. public could yeah. access. All oh, right, them. you. Oh, yeah. 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 And that and you've already said that that's that would be that probably could be approved. Oh, hire, hiring a person to do this? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, any any person that's you know their primary duties, we can use that ten million to pay them for sure. Okay. We have a co-file, which is already a cooperative purchasing through the state. They already have that pre bid and everything. Oh, could you repeat the? Uh, could someone echo? Um, okay, she's she's uh, who? What company? Co uh, we already have Cofile that we've contracted with to do that, which is a part of the part of the cooperative purchasing with the state. Part of the cooperative purchasing with the state already. You don't have to go out okay. for bids. You don't have to go out for bids That's only. A good question. Does this grant make us go out for bids? Does, this, does this grant make us or require us to go out for bids? It does require us to go out for bids, correct. Yeah, we do have to follow 2 CFR 200, um, which is um, the kind of general procurement guidelines um, from the government. And they, they, they can get pretty, they are pretty specific. Um, so yeah, we do need to go out for bids. Okay. You know, the sheriff asked for uh, document scanning for a whole rest of us also. And yeah, we talked about that at the workshop too. Yeah, he said, uh, Scott's saying the sheriff asked for what? Scanning? Yeah, old, old criminal records. Yeah, he's wanting to scan old criminal records and everything uh, through the sheriff's department, which would probably be allowed, <laughs> but you'd still have to go out with, with the bidding process. Yeah, correct. Yeah, there's, I mean, certain stipulations of, you know, certain clauses in 2 CFR 200. And if you do have to go out for bids, I mean, we can use single source procurement sometimes if there's, if there's a specific thing that we're looking for and only one person has it, et cetera, et cetera. So usually we have to go out for bids, but, you know, there can be, we can get around it sometimes, um, you know, using single source procurement. So, yeah, it's just, it's kind of a, a little bit of a maze that we have to navigate, um, but it's definitely navigatable. Okay. okay. Use by board. Huh? Yeah, you yeah. couldn't just go out and use by board or something like that. You know, we are, uh, that's a great question. We, you know, another community I am working with, they're members of HGAC by board. Um, I don't know if that's the specific one um, that you're, uh, a member of, but um, I'm working with them. You know, they they claim on their website to be 2 CFR 200 compliant, but I'm meeting with them tomorrow um, to go over um, how they do some of the procurement steps um, to double check. Um, if you could let me know of the the specific by board that um, you referenced there, sir, um, mm -hmm. so that I could I work with them. Yeah. Check. Houston, Galveston. Okay, yeah, that's HGA. Oh, not with, yeah, not with Karen. Oh, what, about, what would you say? Houston? Houston? Yeah. Houston? 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 And check if that's an option, um, you know, because folks are different communities are members of that and they, they do want to go through that. Um, but again, you know, my role here is to is to ensure um, compliance um, and, and, you know, <clears throat> cover all of our our bases in terms of, uh, you know, compliance and making sure we're following all of the rules issued by the Treasury Department in terms of the spending of this money. So. Yeah. I'm here to make make sure we're we're towing the line. Yeah, yeah and and, and I, I just summarize it as Mr. Bass, keep me out of trouble. Yeah, keeping y'all out of trouble. Exactly. <laughs> Don't let me make a mistake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sandy always says if I go to prison, she's gonna bring me cookies. <laughs> yeah. Is there any other questions for Mr. Bass? 
Well, thank you, sir, for joining us. I know it was a short notice. No, uh, absolutely. But, but, I mean, you, but you've been in meetings this morning, but thank you for joining us. Yeah, absolutely. I'll send you over the SB3011 information here shortly. Okay. Great. Thank All you, right. sir. Y'all have yeah. a great day. Goodbye. Yeah. Okay. So let me ask you guys, uh, what's the number one project? Is radios the number one project? I think that probably would be the number one project. I mean, I, think I don't want to spend all the grant money that's on right. radios. That, you know? that, that's right. Uh, Is that what, what are, what are y'all think? That's bad. Radio roads in jail. Radio roads in jail. Radio yeah. roads in jail. I, mean, that's yeah. a, I mean, that's our biggest I've issue. I've got some cybersecurity stuff, but that's going to be under 100,000. It's small. Yeah. Well, actually, under 50,000. And I know we, we talked about the game warden. That's, 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 he said we could do that last time. Yeah, that wasn't a lay eligible, yeah. was it? Yeah. Do what? Yeah. Law enforcement stuff, not eligible? No, the game board. Game board. Board. He said last time the game board was eligible. And plus, the stuff he's asking for would say, Yeah, I, I guarantee yeah. when he said it, yeah. he's thinking, how does animals have to do with COVID? Well, they're talking happened. about the animals might have started. Yeah. <laughs> I, I will say one thing. For they're down here every time there's money available to ask for it. Yeah. They are. But, uh, okay. <laughs> so I hear radios <laughs> being, uh, I believe the radio is going to be the number one project. Is that correct? Yeah, I mean, okay. Yeah, but like I say, I don't want to spend number all two our money on it. Was jail? Did you say jail? Jail. Jail. jail? In three roads. I think they should look at Karen's and Scott cyber security. <clears throat> and, and both of those would be smaller than the other yeah. projects. Oh, I'm yeah. Thinking. I think Karen's is right. You know, she's got about $850,000 price tag on it, and I think. Remember, you did your co file, and I had to go to the comptroller's office and get yes. that number in and get it approved. And they're actually through the comptroller's office. I'm wondering what the actual. Okay, would, would cybersecurity be in front of Karen's or Karen's behind the cybersecurity? Huh? Who what? I'm yeah. You lose your network, you lose all that stuff. Yeah, that's that. So I'm thinking radios, jail, road, cybersecurity, and then uh, Karen's. You got radio, jail, road, radio. You spend everything that's left on the road. We don't have to. I, I, I wouldn't miss hell, but there's some. We, we don't have to. I mean, yeah, I, th I think you're going to have to figure out a number. Well, well, and, and we, we always remember the chair, if we had not have got this grant, that's what we got to think about. If the grant was out of it, would we spend $800,000 to archive those files up there? We got to spend the money on something we'd be spending on anyway in case you don't get it back. You got to play, you got to keep that assurance in there. You don't get Karen's. Scan your fourth board and follow the plan. All I'm saying is, if we were sitting here and we were not getting that grant, would this group of gentlemen say, "Hey, we need we need to spend that eight hundred thousand dollars"? I don't think we would. Now I'm not saying but we need to be borrowed. She could borrow that, <laughs> Susan. I'm not saying and we've been talking about it for 14 years that I've been here getting to start getting Karen to address a little bit at a time. Does she? No. No. <laughs> but but she's had money for that before. Yeah. She 
see a lot of her money comes to see. Our kind of money that she's getting comes from the cases. Right. Well, yeah. most of the people in district court go to PBC. Yeah. Very few of her cases are paid. Mm -hmm. Most of her cases are not paying cases. So uh, her little fund up early with that. I thought there was a joint records preservation. We have to join one. Uh, if, if Karen had come in here at budget time and said, I need, I want to put a hundred thousand dollars here, we would have probably all considered it to, to, to preserving that stuff. Don't you do that. I mean, if we so, do so, that. so my list shows number one radios, number two jail, number three roads, number four cyber security, and number five Karen's. Uh, is that what y'all got? It's like saying you put rows above anything, whatever fine. Well, that's goes. what, and, and, yeah, and I think that's a fear. And, 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 and guys, and, and, and you know, we, we just got out of a meeting where we don't all agree. And that's what, and, and, in the discussion, and I think that's what a lot of the fear is. Hey. Yeah, but when you want to stand up, okay, well, just call me later. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think uh, a lot of it is that hey any and and and, and, I, and I certainly don't intend to offend anyone, but the county feels like if the commissioners can get that money for roads, they're going to spend every bit of it, every penny of it they can for roads. Is that the? I mean, I'm just that's that's the thing. Well, and, but that's where it's needed. That's not well, right. according to the commission. Yeah. According to the commissioner, transportation and travel is 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 big. Well, I thought she'd come down here and on that desk or at right, table, she brought one of them and she said, I'm pretending to be Vanna White. You she remember? She did and she paid for that with her all kind of money. Okay. Did it just do a certain amount and then that's yes. all, and then she's out of money? Yes. Mm -hmm. She spent all the money she had in that fund. Now she's waiting for it to build back up. There's a, there's a plan that her and Susan work together once a year to make, and then all approve. When yeah. we and when we do that, it's kind of like you said, though she does not gain mm -hmm. a lot mm -hmm. of money in purse. Mm -hmm. Okay. So she has okay. to build it up. And you're saying eight hundred thousand for eight fifty two is what she brought. Eight fifty two. Okay. If we take care of what's up for now, well, what y'all come up with during the year is that enough to keep up? For me. I don't know about Karen. Probably not. I would say no. I don't know. E-filing and everything being digital. You know. Yeah, we're fixing it to be e-recording everything. Karen, what? So going far, she's e-filing everything's that way. We just got to catch up the past records. Going far, she shouldn't have a lot of paper. And once the filing cabinets are off that floor, can that floor be used for anything else we have business with for the public and everything else, or is it just a big empty floor? Yeah, you're talking about that. Fourth floor. I it's all you use it for whatever. You know, you'd have to do a lot of clearing. A whole lot of clearing. Woo, gosh, have you been up there lately? Yeah, but like I said, once we Ooh. get the file cabinets out, well, <laughs> will we be able to use that floor for anything? I else? think that's where, Scott, that's, that's where Scott wanted to go. We talked about some idea there. Security. Once we got security moved out of that room, 
I guess my question. But, but that's the way it always works is security was in the room. Right. We moved them out and we're going to move them. And, but I, and I'm not picking on you, Scott. We got the same thing in the, in the uh, emergency management coordinator. Got to have office, got to have an office. We give an office. Now, now, yeah, and so it, it ain't gonna, it, it won't never change. Security was on the third floor, then they moved it down to the first floor. Yeah, and so my thoughts were just that we're, we're growing, there ain't no way around it. Would that be room in the future as we need to grow? We could expand to if we got that stuff off the floor. Fourth and fifth boats could be used, but it's gonna take some money. This would be harder because it's got all the jail sales. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I think we've got our list. We got our list. Uh, radio, jail, roads. Sorry, you fell below roads, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> at least you're on the list. At least you're on the list. Uh, Cyber security, and then the archives of the. Do you have enough money to cover yours? Pretty good. So you okay I'm in the process of looking at everything from what Pam had there's part of it that she had, had done and I don't know where she was at with that. So we're just now starting to kind of look at that and see how much of okay. it is completed and okay. finish it out. But I have so you got one. Okay. Okay. Is everybody good with that list? Okay. So he said we needed to start trying to get ballpark figures. Yeah. Have y'all got a ballpark on the day? I guarantee mm -hmm. you, uh, Gary Adams, Adams can will. He, he can get, he'll, he'll be able to put a ballpark <clears throat> figure on there. We did pretty quick, too. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He chomped it to bits for the I've been working on trying to round that up, even right coming into the meeting, trying to get yeah. more solid numbers on it. So we're, I guess. Guys, if we can get in the position to get ballpark figures on the, I guess the radio is what I hear him saying is we're gonna to have to hire an engineer to tell us what the radio what what radios we need. In the well, it's there the 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 We're yeah. gonna have specifications. Yeah. yeah, they'll give you your specs and then that okay. goes up. But yeah. it's hard to put a list together when the rules are still changing. You know. Uh, but you got to start. You got to start. You're going to have to have viral impact studies on yeah. sites. On it. Yeah. So okay. on the radios, here's what I'd like to do. And I know you put a lot of work in on this. But I would like to get the specs on what we need. And then I'd like to give them to Motorola. And I'd like to give them to Paris. And I'd like to them to come back and get out here and tell us what they're going to do. Basically, what that'll do, they'll hire that engineer who will design a system to send the specs out and they'll send it back. That's, what, that's why I was that's asking that. about the time frame and all of that. And we've got a ballpark. I mean, uh, Motorola's already given us a price. Well, only, they've given us, and Harris has given us a price too, but they didn't have the specs. Yeah, and so the price has come in way high because they didn't have detailed specs. They don't have detailed specs. Once we get those specs, when we get Motorola and Harris standards, then we can talk about who we're going to use. Yeah. So you need to kind of come up with a figure so that we can set up our Yes. Yeah. And say, you know, the court wants to allow this <clears throat> much money for it. Yeah. This much money for jail extension, this much money for roads, security. Yeah. What time do you do those radios in the jail? I think we'll probably have a couple of hundred for each precinct for roads. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, what are you looking at? Oh, guys, a joke. <laughs> they come in high. Yeah. Until you get your RFPs back, you're not even going to be close on what it is because without RFPs, they just popped out every category and it was it way was high. Half it was seven and a half million. And, sure. and then Motorola <laughs> matched their yeah. price when I asked them. They said, oh, well, it's going to be seven and a half million. Of course, they could see the bid. <laughs> Yeah. So until you get that engineer and then he sends it out. But the reason I want to get that time frame, part of that radio project is being paid for by ECOG. I got the top of that lay and found out what was up with all that. And that's got to be completed by August 31st, 2022. 
And with a three month window from, okay, get started to, okay, this is what we can do. I don't leave very long to get that installed. Now with that, with that list there, it don't include broadband. Well, on the broadband side of that, we wouldn't spend no money on broadband other than letting them on the towers. Yeah, that's more of a ongoing maintenance thing. That's, we would we would rent out the power space as broadband comes in for, and that would help us pay for the maintenance of the towers. That's not going to cost. I think Sandy money. said we, we, we're not in the what the renting business or whatever. We want to hire somebody to do that. You talking about uh, existing towers or new no, towers? The, the ones that we're going to build. I'm not for ready. building towers. I'm for using the ones we have. The ones we have will support the microwave system. Well, for for what broadband? No, for microwave. You have to communicate the way that that P25 used to works. The towers have to communicate with each other, and they use a microwave system for that. Well, Motorola yeah. says that, that they they can do it with the tires we've got now. I, I don't know. Even they really said that tire wouldn't work. <clears throat> okay. If you start building towers, you're you're getting into some problems because the county shouldn't own communication towers. That should be private enterprise. Do we own any now, Scott? No, we, we don't. Do for, we do for our radio or something. Yeah. We own one at Eagle. Well. <laughs> And I think but, that's where you're going to have to hire an engineer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he said that would be part of it. When you do the jail project, you want to hire one. It's going to have to do that kind of stuff. You're going to have to go with what it is. Anyway, I'm, I'm not, you know, we're, this is just talk. I mean, I, I'm not. 45 minutes. I just. <laughs> I, okay. I think that's it. That's it. He's gonna to have to do a study. He's gonna to have to dig deeper into that bill. What? What? And I think you'll have something wrong. Yeah. Yeah. He's, 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 that bill just yeah. popped up, isn't it? Yeah. He's going to, have to do do stuff on that. Okay, guys. We'll come up with another workshop at some point in time. Well, what happens? What What does Wednesday after court look like for y'all? I mean, you are all already here. We're all here. It'd be the best time. Hey, if we didn't want to work, we shouldn't have hired out. Huh? If we didn't want to work, we shouldn't have hired out. Anytime. I work my schedule around what y'all set up. Yeah. Wednesdays after four. Yeah. 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 That's fine for me. Okay. That's three. Do you want to share every four or two weeks? Every, I mean, you're going to sit here and talk to the same thing. Well, every two weeks, weeks, we're here anyway. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're here every two weeks anyway. If you just go <coughs> to the minister's court and a meeting with him, sometimes we won't have that much. Yeah. And we we'll, you know. It's like a bunch of meetings. It's going to be every week. Yeah. Okay. Once it gets rolling, it'll be okay. Fast you want to make. schedule that, Christy? And just schedule it at, I'd say, 11 o'clock. Would, is that what y'all would do? 11 yeah. o'clock yeah. on Wednesdays after after Commissioner's Court? Yeah. That way Tim will be hungry every Wednesday. Every <laughs> Tim will be hungry. Uh, yeah. uh, we'll 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 but you may have bring your snack. We'll have to lower the microphone. So don't get a stomach problem. Okay, we are joking. Do we yeah. need the next meeting have on agenda and vote that this is our office of yeah. to give to him, or how do we move forward from here with that? Yeah, I think it, I think it would be I think it would be better to go through commissioner's court to say that this is our list of ARP money. This this is our priority list, uh, but it's subject to change at any point in time. But I would you th I think we need to probably run it through commissioner's court. Would you? I mean, how would how would you say? Well, how did y'all come up with that list? When did you make that list? In secret meetings. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they already believe. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it was a Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it could change. And then we're not made to it. But at least there's stuff, there's stuff I said wasn't necessarily the order. I mean, that's just the things I'd like to say. What about these people? Yeah, jail. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It can be jail 
Yeah, and we're yeah. losing money. I don't know. I mean, you know, I think he did say project and scope of commission for first. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. okay. Okay, all right. Motion and second. Motion. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a motion? So no, second, third, fourth. Yeah, all, all in favor say aye. Who was perfect? Wes, Wes, and Melanie. All in favor say aye. Those opposed, same sign. We are there.